So Bill, uh, we've been leading the market in terms of our expectations around the RBA. We announced earlier this year in February that we would expect two rate cuts from the RBA uh, before the end of the year. Uh, does anything in this budget sort of change that view on the RBA? Well, that was always going to be a very, very important point as to how much stimulus the government is going to give to the economy that would help to take ease some of the pressure on the consumer, ease some of the pressure on the economy. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I was surprised that the overall net spending was so small, only 0.1% of GDP. Now, there is certainly more going to the consumer, but as I said, only an increase of $750 million in terms of those central tax cuts. I don't think that's enough to really change the environment, and it's interesting that the, the government indeed lowered their consumption forecast relative to December. So I think the RBA will look at it and they'll go back to their old thinking, which has been that fiscal policy has never really been a major factor in their overall monetary policy thinking. And I think once again that will become the case. And it was interesting that we saw that important change in wording from the central bank governor yesterday in his statement. First time he's changed his wording since he was appointed in September 2016, indicating that they are closer to making a decision with regard to cutting interest rates. And what we saw last night would not have made them go, oh boy, look, this is a really big stimulus. Uh, this is going to do the job that we thought we might have had to have done. So it doesn't really change from my perspective, the, our outlook that they'll be cutting rates in, uh, in August and November.